What is wealth? Is it simply the accumulation of material possessions, or is there more to it? Ah, the wealth conundrum. An age-old question that has puzzled humans for centuries. Is it a game of numbers, a tally of assets, or is it something more profound, more elusive? Enter Dolores Cannon, a renowned hypnotherapist and author whose teachings on wealth and prosperity offer a fresh perspective. She encourages us to see wealth as an energy, a vibration that we can tune into. She teaches us that our thoughts and beliefs about money play a significant role in our financial reality. In her view, wealth is not a destination to reach, but a journey to undertake. It's about aligning ourselves with the energy of abundance, cultivating a mindset of prosperity, and harnessing the power of our thoughts to manifest our financial goals. In the teachings of Dolores Cannon, wealth is not an external pursuit, but an internal journey. It's about nurturing our spiritual growth, expanding our consciousness, and aligning our energy with the frequency of abundance. So, as we venture through this journey called life, we come across certain signs, certain indicators that hint at our potential for future financial success. These signs are not about the amount of money we have, but about our mindset, our beliefs, and our approach towards wealth and prosperity. So let's dive deep, let's explore these signs, and let's embark on this journey of wealth creation. As we journey through our lives, there are signs that indicate our potential for future financial success. Let's explore these signs. The sign of self-belief. The first sign of future wealth is an unwavering belief in oneself. This isn't merely an assertion, it's a fundamental truth. Just as Dolores Cannon professed, the mind wields an unparalleled power. It can shape, mold, and architect our reality in ways both conspicuous and subtle. Self-belief is the cornerstone of success. It's the spark that ignites the flame of ambition. It's the fuel that propels us forward, even when the road to wealth seems steep and fraught with obstacles. The journey to affluence isn't linear, it's a labyrinth of trials and tribulations. But with a staunch belief in oneself, these challenges become stepping stones rather than stumbling blocks. Dolores Cannon taught us that our thoughts are potent, our beliefs transformative. When we imbue our minds with the conviction of success, the universe conspires to make it happen. It's the law of attraction in action, a principle as timeless as the cosmos itself. Your mind is the architect of your reality. If you believe you can, you're already halfway there. The sign of perseverance. The second sign of future wealth is an indomitable spirit of perseverance. This isn't just about weathering the storm, but about dancing in the rain, about embracing challenges as stepping stones rather than stumbling blocks. Perseverance is the relentless pursuit of your dreams, even when the odds seem insurmountable. Dolores Cannon, in her profound wisdom, underscored the value of persistence. She believed that the universe conspires to help those who persist those who refuse to give up. In the journey towards wealth, hurdles are inevitable. They test our resolve, our passion, and our commitment to our goals. But it is through overcoming these challenges that we grow, that we discover our true potential. The road to success is often littered with obstacles, but it's the perseverance, the unwavering determination that helps us navigate through. As we stride forward, let's remember, success is not final, failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. The sign of financial literacy. The third sign of future wealth is a keen understanding of financial matters. Grasping the nuances of money management, savings, investments, and the intricate dance of the economy is a clear indicator of impending affluence. This isn't about becoming a Wall Street whiz overnight, but rather, it's about cultivating a healthy curiosity about money matters. Dolores Cannon 
emphasized the importance of knowledge and wisdom in every facet of life. She believed that understanding is the foundation of growth. In the world of wealth, this translates to financial literacy. She encouraged us to learn, to question, to seek out wisdom in all areas, including our finances. Being financially literate doesn't just mean knowing how to count your coins. It means understanding how money works. It's about knowing how to make money work for you. It's about understanding the value of investments, the power of passive income, and the importance of a strong financial foundation. Knowledge is power, and when it comes to wealth, financial knowledge is the key. The sign of discipline. The fourth sign of future wealth is a disciplined approach to life. This is not about a rigid, joyless existence, but rather about having a structured plan that guides your actions and decisions. It's about being consistent, staying focused, and not allowing distractions to derail your journey towards wealth. Dolores Cannon, a respected figure in the world of metaphysics, emphasized the importance of discipline in achieving long-term goals. She taught that discipline is not a punishment, but a tool for shaping our reality. It is the force that keeps us grounded and focused on our path. It's the compass that guides us through the tumultuous sea of life towards our desired destination. Discipline is akin to a gardener meticulously tending to their garden. Each day, they water, they prune, they nurture, and over time, they reap the fruits of their labor. Likewise, with discipline, we cultivate the seeds of our wealth, nurturing them with consistent effort until they bear fruit. Discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishment. The Sign of Innovation The fifth sign of future wealth is an innovative spirit. This is a spark that ignites the flame of success, a trait that separates the ordinary from the extraordinary. Innovation is the lifeblood of prosperity, the engine that drives the vehicle of wealth. Let's dive into the sea of innovation, shall we? It's not just about having new ideas, but applying them successfully. It's about being unique, breaking the norms, and challenging the status quo. It's about daring to dream and having the courage to turn those dreams into reality. Innovation is not limited to inventing something new or creating a disruptive technology. It can be as simple as finding a better way of doing things, improving processes, or spotting opportunities where others see obstacles. It's about being resourceful and resilient, thinking outside the box, and staying ahead of the curve. Now, how does this connect with Dolores Cannon's teachings? Well, Dolores always emphasized the power of the mind, particularly the power of imagination. She believed that we create our reality with our thoughts. If we can imagine it, we can achieve it. Innovation and imagination are two sides of the same coin. The innovators of the world are those who dare to dream, who see possibilities where others see impossibilities. They are the dreamers, the visionaries, the pioneers. They are the ones who push boundaries, who challenge conventions, who change the world. Innovation is not just about making money, it's about making a difference. It's about leaving a legacy, creating something of value that lasts. It's about transforming lives, industries, and societies. Innovation is not a destination, but a journey. It's a continuous process, a lifelong pursuit. It's about learning and growing, evolving and adapting, experimenting and failing, and then rising again. Remember, it's not about being the best, but being better. It's not about being perfect, but being progressive. And it's not about being rich, but being resourceful. So embrace innovation, nurture your creative spirit, follow your intuition, take risks, break barriers, be bold, be brave, be you. Innovation distinguishes between a leader and a follower. So, which one are you? The sign of generosity. The sixth sign of future wealth is a generous heart. 
a heart that is bountiful, that gives without counting the cost, that shares without expecting anything in return. Because when we give, we open up spaces for more to come in. It's a universal principle, as timeless as the cosmos itself. Dolores Cannon, in her profound wisdom, taught us about this law of giving and receiving. She implored us to understand that generosity is more than just a virtue, it's a catalyst for abundance. It's not about the size of your gift, but the love that motivates the giving. As you share your time, your resources, your knowledge, you create a circular flow of energy that attracts wealth and prosperity. You become a magnet for the good things in life. Generosity is not just about giving away material things. It's about sharing your spirit, your joy, your wisdom. In the end, generosity is the most natural outward expression of an inner attitude of compassion and loving kindness. The Sign of Vision The seventh and final sign of future wealth is the ability to envision a prosperous future. This is not about daydreaming or wishful thinking, but rather it is about the clear, vivid, and detailed mental images of what you want to achieve. It is about seeing your future wealth in your mind's eye before it manifests into reality. Dolores Cannon, a renowned hypnotherapist and author, emphasized the power of visualization in her teachings. She believed that our thoughts and visions have the power to shape our reality. Just like a painter who first visualizes the painting in his mind and then brings it to life on the canvas, you too have to paint the picture of your prosperous future in your mind first. Having a clear vision for the future is crucial in wealth creation. It provides direction, fuels motivation, and guides decision-making. It's like having a compass that points towards your financial goals. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams.